Happy August, everybody. I hope you like my tiny microphone. I want to make this market update quick and to the point so that you can get back to enjoying your summer and stop watching me. Um, I want to talk about, and we're going to be talking about, the three horsemen of the real estate market. That is the three most important factors that drive the market. Mortgage rates, inventory, and prices. So let's get into it. Real estate success without the BS. First up, mortgage rates. As of this past Monday, the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage was the lowest it has been since April 2023. Hallelujah. And in the big picture, rates have been moving down consistently, although slowly. And that's due to an ongoing bond market rally, great inflation data, and what appears to be an increasing willingness from the Fed to consider rate cuts. Uh, and there are other factors in play, both on the big picture side of things and due to the past few days. Uh, but they all really have to do with the plumbing of the global financial markets um, and more specifically bonds that directly dictate mortgage rates. But the net effect is that rates are highly variable depending on the day, the lender and the client scenario. Uh, but with all that said, today, we're able to see an average 30-year fixed rate mortgage in the 6.5s based on the person's finances who's applying. So that's where you are today. And I know everyone wants to know where we're going. Uh, I think, sadly, predictions are for suckers. Uh, you know, a lot of people predicted the Fed would cut rates multiple times in 2024. Uh, they were then shunned by the Fed in the first quarter as the odds of a rate cut just dried up. And just the other morning, I heard a commentator calling for the Fed to make an emergency rate cut as the stock market took a tank. Um, but with the next Fed meeting just over five weeks away, plenty of more important economic data during that time that's due to come out, we still don't know what the road ahead will look like. Um, all that we know is that rates are very low and have been trending lower. And we should also know that moves like this often see periods of correction, even in long term, if the long term momentum continues. So don't be alarmed if you'll see several daily upticks and downticks. Things are trending downwards. OK, next up, inventory, which will then lead us to our final horseman, which is pricing. I was very glad to see the numbers of signed contracts for home sales increased in June. And not just nationally, but all four major regions of the country. And the NAR, National Association of Realtors, said its pending home sales index, which tracks those contracts, increased. That's good news. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself because despite the increase, the index remains 2.6% lower than it was a year ago. Uh, and we're still well below normal levels of inventory, but the results were much better than expected. So as far as us moving towards a more balanced market, I will take good news where I can get it. Uh, we are out of the doldrums of inventory that we had earlier this year, and that rise in housing inventory is beginning to lead to more contract signings. And in our area, multiple offers are still happening, but they are less intense and buyers are a bit more are in a bit more of a favorable position. I'm curious what will happen and I'm going to keep an eye on how lower, lower mortgage rates will affect prices. And that's a good segue to speaking about prices. Um, below normal inventory levels are still leading to home price gains in the outer boroughs and the suburbs. Uh, overall, home prices really have been on an absolute tear these past few years. But with some uncertainty now in the financial markets, I think it'll be worth keeping your eye on the broader financial market trends to see how that might affect the housing market. Right. A recession in the financial markets would eventually lead to a pullback in prices. However, those things normally take longer than a day or a week to shake out. You know, the real estate market is like a cruise ship. It takes a bit longer to turn it around 
than something like stocks and bonds, which can whip back and forth in a much quicker way. Um, so that's you brought up to speed on the essentials. If there's anything that you'd like to ask me or that I can help you with, you can always reach out to me. Uh, my phone is always on. My door is always open. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of summer. Stay tuned uh, for my email uh, newsletter subscribers. I'll see you guys in two weeks for the featured listings email. I've got some good ones for you. All right. Enjoy.